You've seen our butcher block countertops for the kitchen, but wait till you see the latest addition. You watched us design and build this house in 150 days, but the work is far from over. We're about to jump into my favorite part of the process of bringing all this together. Join me for an exclusive look right here on eHow Home. You know, there's just something about having unique pieces of furniture or objects in your house that, I don't know, they just add a certain look and feel. They're great conversation pieces. Take for instance this, it's a butcher block, perfect for the kitchen. I love this thing. It's got a vintage look, found at an antique shop in Memphis. It's one of those warehouse antique mall kind of places. I was prowling around and looked at the back wall and there it was, just rolled up on its side. I thought, that's a butcher block and it had three legs that went with it and they were there, so I bought it. I just couldn't leave it there. So I wanted to use it as a center island in this kitchen. The kitchen's really not that large. I didn't have enough room for an island, but I thought, what about make it mobile? By making it movable, it actually solved a problem for me. If you look down here, you can see that, well, the butcher block originally was only 30 inches high. So I had Tony make this triangular shaped platform for this to sit on. So the tripod or the three legs would be positioned here, here, and here, all equidistant from one another. And then to raise it up just a little more, I put it on casters. Well, this makes it very convenient because now I can move it around the room anywhere I want. And you can lock these casters down and it can be a stationary piece in this space. By raising the butcher block up like this, I was able to get this surface level close to the same level as the countertops in the kitchen. So it makes another workspace in this area. You know, what's wonderful about this is that it's 42 inches in diameter. That was a big tree. This thing probably goes back to the 1890s and it has a really nice patina on the side where it was whitewashed and some of that's worn. Just kind of adds to our farmhouse chic look here. Hey, if you found a unique piece of furniture or an object that you're using in an interesting and useful way in your home, I'd love to hear about it. Hey, and tell a friend about us and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.